Welcome to Shasta Public Library's Virtual Storytime. I'm April, and today we'll be reading Go to Sleep Groundhog by Judy Cox and illustrated by Paul Mizell. You ready, puppy? Let's get started. Go to Sleep Groundhog. Groundhog went to bed on Columbus Day, just like he always did. He brushed his teeth. He put on his jammies. He set his clock for February 2nd. Then he curled up in his warm, cozy bed. He closed his eyes. He tossed and turned, but he couldn't get to sleep. Finally, he got out of bed. He peered at his clock. Half past October. Groundhog poked his nose outside his burrow. The moon was full. I'll just go for a little walk, he said. Maybe then I'll get sleepy. <gasps> oh, what day do you think it is? Groundhog went outside. He saw things he'd never seen before. Raggedy scarecrows and grinning jack-o'-lanterns. Children dressed up like pirates, cowboys, and princesses. A Halloween witch flew down. What are you doing up, she said. It's almost winter. You should be in bed. Witch flew Groundhog home on her broomstick. She tucked him in. She read him a ghost story. She gave him a glass of apple cider. Groundhog curled up in his warm, cozy bed. He closed his eyes. <gasps> Will he go to sleep? Hmm. No, nope. he tossed and turned, but he couldn't get to sleep. Finally, he got out of bed, peered at his clock, half past November. He poked his nose outside his burrow. The leaves were red and yellow. I'll just go for a little walk, he said. Maybe that'll make me sleepy. Oh, who does he find? Groundhog went outside. He saw things he'd never seen before. Tall yellow corn shocks and round orange pumpkins. Turkeys gobbling in the barnyard. Look who's giving him a ride. What are you doing up? Turkey said. It's almost winter. You should be in bed and I should be making myself scarce. Turkey took Groundhog home. He tucked him in. He read him a story about pilgrims. He gave him a slice of pumpkin pie. Mmm, pumpkin pie. Do you think it'll help Groundhog sleep? Groundhog curled up in his warm, cozy bed, closed his eyes. He tossed and he turned and he couldn't get to sleep. Finally, he got out of bed. He peered at his clock. Half past December. Groundhog poked his nose outside his burrow. Stars twinkled above. I'll just go for a little walk, he said. Maybe that'll make me sleepy. Oh, what time is it now? What's in December? Christmas, good guess it is. Groundhog went outside. He saw things he'd never seen before. Colored lights glowing in the houses. Candles shining in the windows. Holly wreaths hanging on doors. He heard sleigh bells chiming in the air. Who's gonna get in this time? Who's this that's giving him a ride? <gasps> yes, let's see. Santa flew down in his sleigh. What are you doing up? Santa said. It's winter. You should be in bed. Santa took Groundhog home in his sleigh. He tucked him in. He read him a Christmas story. He gave him a glass of milk and some cookies. Groundhog curled up in his warm, cozy bed. He closed his eyes. He didn't toss and he didn't turn. And soon he fell asleep. Uh-oh. Ring! Groundhog opened one eye. It can't be time to get up yet, he grumbled. I just got to sleep. Hmm. Bring! 
He peered at his clock. February 2nd. Groundhog yawned and stretched. He tumbled out of his burrow. Snow glittered on the ground. The sun was out. The sky was blue. Look at him going up the stairs. Look at his little mouse friend there. Gonna go to see outside. Groundhog saw his shadow. What am I doing up, he said. There are six more weeks of winter coming. I should be in bed. So he hurried back inside. He ate a bedtime snack. He read himself a bedtime story, then tucked himself into his warm, cozy bed, and he pulled up the covers, closed his eyes, and went to sleep. Good night, Groundhog. Thank you for joining me today at Shasta Public Library's Virtual Storytime. Remember, you can check out this book and others at your local library. Bye!